Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we're back with part 2 of Resident Evil HD Remake. We're playing as Jill and doing her campaign in this playthrough video. I will be including Chris's playthrough in my Story Explained video when I finish the game. And in part one, we went all the way through the mansion and we got outside and we found this creepy cabin in the woods. And that's where we're going to be picking up. With that said, sit back, relax, and let's dive into part two of Resident Evil. Okay, here we are, guys, back in this creepy cabin. It's time to explore and see what awaits. We heard a moaning sound. We heard a very creepy sound in this cabin, and um, we've just picked up a note talking about a character called Lisa. So, uh, she may or may not be involved. Look, we've got a crank here. Will you take the crank? Yes, I will. Do anything else here? Just came for the crank, I guess. Alright, let's go then. Oh! Someone's just come into the cabin. Oh, I think that might have been Lisa. We're going to find out more about Lisa as the story goes on. So I'm not going to spoil too much. I don't fully remember about her either, to be honest. So I'm going to be sort of remembering her as we go through the game anyway. But that is Lisa Trevor. And she is like this hideously deformed monster. He used to obviously be human, much like all the zombies and stuff that are staggering around as well. Look at that thing, man. That is insane. Oh god, she's, she's coming straight for us. Okay, um, how do we avoid her? Wait, can I shoot her? Nope. She's still coming for us. Oh, she hit us. Okay, go. I've shot her twice. You know what? I'm not going to shoot her again. I'm not going to provoke that thing. I'm just going to escape. I want to get a good look at her. Come on, stagger over this way. Wait, where's she gone? Oh, she's coming down, she's coming down, she's coming down. Look at her. Oh my god. I, I'm getting out. Screw this. I'm not gonna provoke that thing, man. Did you hear it? Just like freak out when she was like... Rah! No, let's go, let's go. None of that. Sounds like we're safe now. She isn't following us outside. Can take a breath. She likes to stay in her cabin, obviously. She must have gone down that trap door or something. Oh. I can hear a moaning sound. It sounds like a zombie sound. Oh, wow, okay. Just completely... Come on, jump for me. Lunge for me. There we go. Skirt around them. That's the best way to avoid those zombies. Just get them to lunge at you and then just run past them. We've got to find if we need to do something with this crank now. Because it's the only thing that I could find in that cabin. The only option we really have, guys, is to go back up to the mansion. I think there might have been another way we could have gone in this, like, outside area. This is Brad. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Yeah, we need to get back in touch with Brad, because he's our ride, you know? Broken. He's our ride out of here, he's flying that helicopter. Oh man, we've got dogs. I'm going to try and just run past these guys. We've got like an elevator around here. Let's see if we can go down it. Nope, we can't. Okay, this is really bad. Run! No! Get off me! Get off me, dog! Man, that was really bad. It just launched. It just launched at us. Guys, we've got to run here. We've got to go this way. Ah, run! Okay, we made it. That did not go smoothly. That did not go smoothly at all. But it's fine. We're outside. I remember. We have to lower the water here. So, we've got the crank. We can put it in here. And lower this water. Look at this. Open up that sluice gate, lower the water, and then we can cross the courtyard. You can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Okay, cool. So let's go. Slush, slush, slush. It's kind of peaceful out here, you know? Quite nice and relaxing. 
maybe just stay out here. It seems pretty safe, you know, in this area. We've got an elevator here as well, and it works. Nice. I was kind of half expecting that not to work then. Descending into the depths. Oh no, we've got crows. We've got blue herbs growing here. You don't need to use them now. I think they cure poison if I remember correctly. Oh no. Oh no, the crows are attacking us. Ah! Wait, what's this? The power to the elevator isn't turned on. There's got to be a power source somewhere. Great. Okay, so we need to find a power source for that. Oh, there's a way this way. Okay, where are we now? Oh god, snakes. I guess that's what will poison us then. Little vipers and stuff. And here we go guys, the residence building. So this is where like the staff would have stayed who attended to the uh, like gardens and stuff. I think. That music man, that is creepy. Right, let's get our bearings. I need to figure out where there is a chest first of all so we can store some items. Ah, oh, I love that theme. When you hear that theme, guys, you know it's a save room, right? We've got the typewriter. We've got the chest. Look at this. We can save our game in a minute. We can also store the crank, because I don't think we need that anymore. Right, guys, let's go and explore this area. See what horrors lay in wait for us. It's locked. The door plate reads one. Okay, so that one's locked. What about this one? This isn't locked. A double door. Oh my god! Frickin' spider. I hate spiders. Let's run. Let's go. Screw that, man. That is nuts. Will you take shotgun shells? Hell yeah. What's this thing over here? Will you take the red book? Yes, I guess so. Seems important. Wait, I can still hear... A spider, guys. I can still hear a spider. What have we got up here? What's this? It's an orange oil lamp. It's not lit. So we need the, li the lighter for that. We've got a pool table here. Oh my god, look at the spider free there! On the side of the screen. Just watching us. Some billiard balls. Two, three, four, five, six. There doesn't seem to be anything significant about the order, but... Ah, so this is a puzzle of some kind. Uh, oh my goodness, the spider! Is he gonna spit? I think they spit, right? I seem to remember us an evil spider spit. Yeah. Oh! <gasps> holy crap, he runs at us! Okay. We've already got injured. Let me pass, let me pass, let me pass. Screw that guy. I'm not even gonna fight that thing, man. I'm just gonna run. Anything else in this room that I can quickly grab? We've got another lamp over here. A red oil lamp that's not lit. Okay. Screw these spiders, man. I hated that we came into that room and it was literally above the door and it just creeped down. That made me, like, actually shiver. Alright, let's heal up. There we go. We're back to being fine. Let me examine this book as well. It's a book with a red cover. Nothing is printed on any of the pages. Is there a special way to use it? Hmm. So we can't... We can't do anything with that book in terms of, like, there's nothing inside it, but we might be able to use it somewhere. I could get the lighter and light those lamps. I'm going to explore a little bit more first. Because I really don't want to go back into that room with the spiders anytime soon. I remember how to get past this bit. We need to push the box over that hole that you can see there, guys, because if we don't, I think a tentacle comes out to grab us, like a plant tentacle. You know, like the one we saw at the fountain in part one. Okay, let's climb up the box then. And now we can get past that hole without the plant grabbing at us. Alright, we've got moths. I can deal with moths, you know? Moths are okay. It's a bit spooky though. Anything here? Newspapers lie scattered about. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Well, we're part of stars, aren't we? So that's interesting. It's locked. The door plate reads, gallery. Okay. Wait, is this a note I can read? 
No. Okay. Oh. No Cutscene. Part of our deal. <gasps> it's Wesker. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Can't hear what they're saying properly. Sounds like Barry. Sounds like Barry and Wesker. So they might be working together, guys. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys <laughs> if you haven't seen the story. But yeah, Barry seems to be uh, under Wesker's control. There's a map of residence. Take it. Um, yes, I'll take it. Sure. Okay, that's where we haven't explored yet. You got the map of residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Hmm. You can see a giant beehive. Oh no. Alright, that wasn't good. Bees, bees, bees. Man, that was not good. Just bees like flying out everywhere. I bet that hallway's gonna be infested now. Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky, I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. If that was me, I would not be wanting to go outside. <laughs> That'd be the last thing I'd want to do. Plant 42 reports. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy, as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of a Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey, and after doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. That's from May 21st, 1998 from Henry Sarton. So that's a report about Plant 42, which we'll be running into, don't you worry guys. <laughs> that nasty plant is uh, something we're going to have to face in due time. Is there anything else in this room? There's a door here. Okay, we got a bathroom. Oh, a key. Will you take the residence key? Yeah, definitely. Anything else in here? Oh no, we got zombie. And we blew its head off in one. Nice. That was pretty epic. Okay, let's get out of here. We've got the key. I don't know what the key is for. Let's have a look. 
Oh, there we go. The key for 001. Nice. I'm going to examine this bookshelf as well. Seems like we can... Look, we can push this bookshelf. Here we go. We can push this bookshelf. Yes. And it reveals a way down. Before we go down, I am going to explore the rest of the residence, guys. Just in case we miss something that we need. Look at the bloody handprint on this door as well. Like, some, something bad went down in this room. It could have just been that zombie, of course, that we just killed, like, coming through. We've got all the bees chasing us as well in this room. I don't like that. Go, 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 Jill, run. Nice. We avoided the bees. I mean, how many horror games can you claim that they have killer bees in them? Not many, I imagine. Got to remember what door 001 was. I think it's this one. There's no further use for this key now, discard yes. Here we go. Oh. Can hear something. Oh. It's literally like someone that's hung themselves. We've got a self-defense gun. Do I want to take that? I don't even know if this is a particularly good gun, but I'll take it, sure. June 22, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I just had to leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? So I think we just killed that guy. Well, killed him again. He was the zombie that came for us in the bathroom. I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is a regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. So, I don't know if this is like the guy we got the note from in the first episode. It might have been. He couldn't escape and sort of met a sticky end in the end. These were obviously staff that worked at the mansion. Anything else in here? There's a door here. Could go in here. Hopefully we get something else other than that little self-defense gun and a depressing note, you know. Oh. Oh my god. He's, he's just dropped down. I'm getting ready, guys. If he comes in here, he gets shot. In fact, I'm actually going to shoot the guy on the ground in case he tries to get up. Okay, that guy's dead. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug. We're draining the bathroom. I'm just kind of nervous that that guy hanging outside has dropped down. There's something inside the bathtub. What is it? Ooh, control room key, yes. Okay, I think we needed that. Oh my god, he's getting up now. Okay, it was a trap. You know what? I'm going to use a self-defense gun. I'm going to see what that does. Ah. Okay, maybe we won't use a self-defense gun. It didn't seem to do much, that self-defense gun. That's all I'll say. Guys, I'm going to go outside. Screw it. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to run. I think that other zombie will be out here. Right, we made it out. It's fine. It's all good. We've got a control room key. I think we can probably progress now. Let's head back to the room with the, like, little trap door or hatch or whatever it was in there. And hopefully we can get to the area below the residence and use the control room key now. Because I'm pretty sure we need that when we go down there. Oh no, we've got these things. I forgot about those stupid bees. But it's alright, they seem kind of calm. They didn't really attack us. Okay, the creepy ass room again. So down the trap door we go. Climb down this ladder. And this is going to be the flooded area they were talking about in the notes. This area is one of the scariest areas in the game, by the way, guys. I know what's down here and I do not like it. It's locked from the other side, okay. So, we've got these boxes here. I think we need to put them in the water to make a bridge across. So, let's push this one in first. There we 
go. Push the box in. That's one. I think we need to do all three. This is riveting for you guys to watch. <laughs> Maybe I'll just cut to when I finish doing this. Just pushing boxes around in video games. Probably the most boring thing we can do in a video game. We need one more. And there we go. Puzzle solved. We can go all the way across now. Very sturdy looking bridge. Here we go guys, we've got to go into the flooded area. I'm pretty scared. I'm pretty scared because I know what's on the other side of this door. Go, 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 go. We've got something living under the water. Any guesses as what this might be, guys? Something I hate. It's a freaking shark. And it's not just one shark. There are loads of sharks in this room. But there's a big shark right at... Oh, my God. Right at the bottom of the room. There's a big shark right at the bottom, and it's going to come up if we don't get to the other side in time. You can hear the music starting because it's about to come up. Ah, uh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, Jill. Run. Okay, we made it. Use the control room key. There's no further use for it. Discard, yes, and let's get out of this room. See, if we hadn't have had that control room key, we would have died then. Because if you don't get out of that room in time, the shark just jumps up and kills you. The, like, big mama shark that's living deep down. We'll meet it in due course, so don't worry, guys. We will still meet that shark. Let's climb ourselves down. Right, so we've got to figure out this puzzle now. You can see the shark's just swimming around in that tank. That's pretty freaky. Okay, let's see what this says. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure control, open valve one. Okay, we need to open valve one then. Man, look at how flooded that area is. Imagine how freaky that would be if you were just like a lab worker and the lab got flooded and all the sharks were just swimming about like that. The controls for the main system. Everything seems to be in proper working order. Okay. Pressure shelter. Right, what do I do here? An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it. I guess so. Oh! The shark does not like that. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Great. Okay, so what do I do? There's a control lever for the pressure shelter, but it won't budge until the safety is released. Okay, so is the safety through here? Is this the safety? An oil pressure regulator. There's no need to adjust for pressure right now. Reaching 30% no, okay, 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 okay. Hey, what do I do? What do I do? The pressure shelter is locked. Release for safety, yes. The safety mechanism for the pressure shelter has been released. Sweet, okay. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter. Pull it, yes. Nice. 50% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release for safety. Okay, so now we need to go back here. Ah, that shark is almost through. The switches control the oil pressure valves. Press which switch? I think it said press switch one on that note. So we'll press that. Now we go back and try it again, I suppose. Uh, let's see if this works this time. Wait, there's a control lever for the pressure shelter, but it won't budge until the safety is released. Okay, so we have to do the safety again. Okay, safety me mechanism released. Sweet. 70% critical. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully it works this time. Is that going to work now? Yes, please. Thank you. It worked. Sweet. We're good. We're good, guys. Now, how do we drain this sucker? The safety has been released. Drain the water. Yes. Screw you, sharks. 
That was close, guys. That shark almost bust through the window. I was quite nervous. The water has been completely drained. Okay, okay. Nice. So, we can now proceed into the shark area. And hopefully, they won't be able to swim about anymore. What's here? Materials have labeled dynamite. They're soaked beyond use. Well, there's something here. Will you take the grenade shells? Yep, definitely, 100%. So now we can go through to the shark area. The water is now drained, so the shark shouldn't pose us a threat. But we'll keep on high alert just in case we'll have our guns for ready. Yeah, he's not going to pose us much of a threat now. Look at him just flapping about on the floor. Screw you. Execution style. Boom. That's one. One dead shark. Don't feel bad at all. Man, look at that one. That's the big mama shark. That is scary. I'm getting out. Keep away from it. Just in case, you know, just in case. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. That freaking shark, man. Still alive. I know what we do then. We cook it, right? We cook it. The generator unit for the water control system. Let's turn that sucker on. There you go. One fried fish. Fry me up some shark. I'll have some shark for dinner, guys. There we go, he's dead. We got an achievement, deep six, I like that. I think he knocked over like a key. I think it was like a key in that box, right? That's toasted, I think we can just dive back into the water now. I don't think he's coming back from that somehow. I'm gonna execute him just in case. There you go. And here we go, guys. Will you take the residence key? That's for the gallery, which is what we needed earlier. We came all down here for a key, right? We should've just kicked the door in. Like, think about it. Would you, A, kick the door in and just go right through? Because, I mean, surely the lock's not going to be that strong. Or, B, risk your life against killer sharks for a key. You would just kick the door in, right? But never mind. We don't need logic. It's a video game. So, next, we're going to head back upstairs and we're going to basically go back to the gallery room. We can now unlock that and make some progress. I think this is going to shortcut us, actually, all the way back to the top. There was that locked door, if you remember. There was that locked door at the top of this sort of area where the crates were, and I think this will lead us back out to that door. Yeah, that shortcutted us back to this area. The crates are now gone for some reason. I don't know who took map water, but never mind. Let's head back upstairs. Let's get that gallery open and make some progress. You used the residence key. There's no further use for this key now. Discard? Yes, I guess so. Look at this. Got like a little lab area. Lab equipment you've never seen before. Could these have been used for some kind of experiment? Probably, right? Oh no, we've got bees. Will you take the handgun magazine? Yes, I will. Alright, let's see if we can go through here. The door is locked. The door plate reads 003, okay? We've got bees in here again. We've got a corpse with a contorted expression of pain on his face. Uh, he's holding something. Will you take the insecticide spray? Yes. Ah, I know what we do. I think what we need to do now is actually head back into the hallway and use the insecticide spray on that hole that the bees were coming out of. And we can spray their hive and then we'll be able to actually get like, to the area their hive is, without them killing us. Here we go. Let's kill them all. Sorry, I know you give us precious honey, but it's got to be done. Right, so now we can go back into this room here, and hopefully, with the beehive now destroyed, we can actually explore the area near that corpse in this room. We've also got a keypad here. The lock mechanism for the door. Use it. Uh, well, no, because I don't know what the combination is. I think in this room, there's a little science lab where we can actually make a poison for the plant boss. And I think that might actually have something to do with a pool table 
puzzle as I remember it. But in this playthrough, guys, I'm just going to, like, blast through that boss so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to, like, nuke it. I don't really poison it because I prefer just to fight it without, like, weakening it first. So we won't worry about that. But down here we have got another key. Another residence key. It's just key after key in this area. Oh, man, look at that guy's face as well. He had a bad time. He got stung on his freaking eye. That's horrible. <laughs> Sorry about that guy. I think maybe that key will be for this door here. There's no further use for the key. Discard. Yep, there we go. We've gained access to the room. Alright, who is inside this room? We've got an ink ribbon. Got a door here. This is going to be another bathroom, I think. They've all got their own ensuite bathrooms. I must say it's quite nice. That bath looks pretty filthy, though. It's got some kind of slime running out of it. It's full of dirty water. Pull out a plug, I guess. Doesn't look like there's anybody in there. There's something in the bathtub. It's a dagger. I'll take that. Don't know why someone had a dagger in the bathtub, but we won't ask questions. The roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out of a wall. I mean, they are. Look at that. That's insane. So that's from the Plant 42, I think. Like it says, the shelves are lined with various soaps and cosmetics. They're all Umbrella brand products. And no, the Umbrella Corp is, of course, behind everything in all the Resident Evil games. They'll be in this game soon. What do we want to do? We've got a typewriter. We can save our game. We've also got a book here. There's uh, one white book sandwiched in between all the other books. Take it. I guess so. Organic Chemistry Lab Experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of a rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of a plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of a plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. And they're the characteristics. So we can do a little chemistry experiment to kill the plant before we actually fight it, guys. But I'm just going to go and fight the plant boss. With that said, I'm also going to do this puzzle here because we need to add in the book we got before to these books, I think. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. So now what we have to do is reorder the books. So let's try and move this book along to the edge. I think we need to basically make this like woman on the rocks whole again. So let's keep moving them about. We next need this one. There we go. Let's reorder them again. Kind of a, a naughty little picture here. There we go. We cracked it. So that is the door, I think, that leads to the boss encounter. However, guys, I'm going to want my grenade launcher to fight this boss. We're going to want to go in there with a grenade launcher, you know? So I'm going to head back, get the grenade launcher, and then we'll come back here in a minute and fight the boss, which I believe is through this door. Right, here we go. Through the door. We're all ready. We've got the grenade launcher. We're ready for whatever lies ahead of us. Which is a giant frickin' plant hanging from the ceiling, just like the note told us. Boom. Boom. Okay, that's two shots. But we can only damage it when that sort of ball barrier in the middle opens. There we go. So now we can hit it. Is that, is that it dead? Did we get it already? No? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Man, we're getting burned here. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Man, we're going to die. Oh, my God. 
We got killed. We got killed, guys. I should have moved around a bit more than that. Well, that's our first death. You are dead. Well, you know, second time's a charm is what I always say. Boom. Boom. Two shots. We did get hit there, but never mind. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Keep going. I keep running around the room, doing the full circuit, you know? Oh my god, okay. Don't just reverse yourself like that, Jill. Okay, he's, he's open again now, he's open again. Boom. Boom. Okay, we got it twice. Now he does this weird thing, like I don't know if that means he's like half dead or something. Oh, hello. Boom. Boom. Did we die? No, we're not dead. We almost died. Alright, we need to heal ourselves. That was very close. <laughs> he knocked us off the top again. Ah! Stop it! Can I shoot up and hit him? I don't know if you can fire up and hit him like that. Uh, we need to reload. I'm going to combine this with this. We've got fire rounds now. We can put the uh, flame rounds onto him. This could be good against the plant, you know? Boom. Okay, is he dead? Yes, we destroyed him. Alright, second time is better than the first time. I think we could all agree. And that plant is no more. That's called pest control. That's called weed control right there. I'm the worst at one-liners, guys. I wouldn't know what to say in an action sequence in a movie. <laughs> at least not off the top of my head. But here we go, we got a key. Will you take the mansion key? Yes. I will. The key master, nice. We got an achievement, guys. It's probably not showing on screen. Anyway, that means that we can go back to the mansion now because this key, I think, if we examine it, will prove to be the helmet key. As you can see, it's got a helmet on it. Now, there were lots of helmet-themed doors around the mansion that we couldn't unlock, and now we will be able to go back and do that. So let's head back through. Let's go back to the mansion. And let's start unlocking some new doors. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, he sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah, I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Never trust Wesker, ever. <laughs> He's bad news. But what I will say, guys, is that we've been told to go back to the mansion, and that bit of information is actually trustworthy. We do want to go back to the mansion because we've got the helmet key now. We're going to unlock some new doors. So I'm actually going to cut back to when we get back to the mansion, unless anything particularly interesting happens along the way. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad! Brad! Shit. It's broken. So Brad was trying to get in touch with us. Of course, he is flying the helicopter. So he's our ticket out of here. If we can get in touch with Brad, you know, we can get off the site. We can get in that helicopter. We can fly away to safety. But unfortunately, he can't contact us currently. Either way, guys, we're going to head back to the mansion if we can avoid these dogs. Oh, God. We got mauled already. All right, here we go, guys. We're back at the mansion now. Just about to go back into it. And uh, we can open some new doors up. That was quite the intense experience of a residence though. Fighting that plant boss, fighting those sharks. It's been an action-packed episode so far. 
god. Now we've, <laughs> now we've got new, another enemy coming for us. I think this is the hunter. That is a hunter. That is a hunter, guys. Go! It's like a lizard, isn't it? To be fair. We got him. Look at that thing. It's like a giant lizard with claws or a frog or something. They do like major damage as well, they're like really deadly. Can we open this door now, I wonder? It's locked. The Spencer family emblem is carved onto the doorknob, so we need Spencer family emblem key to get in there. I think we want to go basically first to a storage point. I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, there's a freaking hunter there. Ah! You know what? Screw you, man. Is he dead? Is he getting up? No. Okay, so first thing we want to do is check our map and see what doors we need to open still. As you can see, guys, there are a few doors that we can still not unlock. Uh, there's one in the main hallway down there, which I think uses the helmet key. There's also plenty of doors on floor two that we need to go through and explore. So I'm going to start with floor two as I'm nearby. Go straight up. Yeah, there's actually a door at the end of this corridor that we can probably explore, I think. There we go, use the mansion key. That's our first door unlocked with a helmet key. Got that music again, that familiar music and a puzzle. Something to do with pushing statues in this room. Okay. I think we want to push that statue in there before the walls close. Okay, so let's push this statue. Now hopefully the walls don't crush us as they begin to close. You know, that's what I'm hoping. By pushing this statue, the walls will sort of open back up. Come on, keep pushing it, Jill. Keep pushing it. Keep pushing it. Okay. Do I keep going? Do I keep pushing it to the very end? Guys, I don't know... I don't know if that did anything useful. What's this do? We've got a button here. There's a switch here. Press it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, no. That's... Okay, that's not good. Ah, now we can put it into the other side. I get it. There we go. We made it. Okay, that was quite anxiety-inducing <laughs> because I thought I was going to get crushed. Will you take the battery pack? Yes, I will. Of course we'll take it. There's a hole. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down. Guys, I think we've got to go down, man. I don't want to because it's uh, pretty creepy. Oh, look. We've got a book here, though. Will you take the last book, Volume 1? Yeah, definitely. Let's see what the last book's all about. Examine. Can we open it? What can the words on the cover mean? Here we go, it does open. Ah, and look, we've got a medal inside the book. The Medal of the Eagle. Found inside the last book, Volume 1. Is there a special way to use it? There's nothing unusual. Hmm. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? And at first I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like a reflex. One name that came to mind, Jessica. I don't want to believe that they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved in the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. 
those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now, I'm losing it, everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me, may God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. So that is Lisa Trevor's father and obviously Lisa became that horrible monster we saw earlier. So they were all tricked by the Umbrella Corporation and the Spencer Estates into uh, meeting this tragic end. A name is carved into the small gravestone, George Trevor. There's a switch, will you press it? Yeah sure. There you go, we can go down into the grave. I don't know if I want to go down into somebody's grave, that's all I'll say. But you know, for the good of the video, we're doing it. Okay, so we're in the... Oh my god, the depths with frickin' spiders. What's this, a map? There's a map of Mansion B1. So this is the basement, take it, yes. Okay. So this seems to be a dead end that we're going down right now. Inside the cardboard box lies the discarded shell of a molting spider. What's this thing on the ground? Will you take shotgun shells? Yes, I will. Don't want to run into that spider, man. I hate spiders. Oh, there's one right there! I'm not going to, like, even fight that thing. I'm just running. What's in here? Is that a zombie? You know what? I can deal with zombies. I don't mind those. You know, for Walking Dead, I don't mind, but spiders, nah. -uh. Oh, that was close. Okay, you know what? Both of you are dead. And boom! Oh, it didn't work. I was trying to headshot that guy. And boom. Okay, I'm gonna stop wasting my shotgun shells. I'm just gonna use a pistol. Oh! I thought I downed him. What the heck? Screw you. Okay, we popped his head though. So I'll take it. Now what's down here? In this godforsaken place. It looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse has blown out. Switch it over. Yes. The power supply appears to be functioning again. Okay, so the elevator now works. I think I know what elevator that's for as well. So here we go, back up. So this is gonna bring us out, I think, as I remember, back into the mansion. Yes, we're in the kitchen. Nice. Now the question is, did the kitchen have a locked door in it? Yes, the back of this room. Oh, he's still coming, okay. Wow, he's still coming. Are you kidding me? Usually they take four or five shots to down. I'm playing so badly at this game today, guys. I apologize for my atrocious gameplay. Use the elevator. Yes, I will. Right, so we can head upstairs with the elevator now. Get to a new area. I need some elevator music in there, you know, to chill my nerves. I think I can hear more zombies. Yes. I can indeed. How the heck do you keep getting me? I'm using up all my, like, things here. Wow, that moth creeped me out as well. Looks like Jill's got wings. Maybe I should just use my shotgun more, you know? Let me reload that bad boy. Oh, here he is. Okay, I'm gonna equip the pistol now and finish him off. Good. <sighs> okay, we made progress. We found a new area and hopefully this will help us out with, ooh, got some rounds here. Will you take the acid shells? Not yet. Not yet. I'm going to see what else there is. Oh, here we go. Look. Will you take the battery? So we've got the battery. I think we can use this to power the elevator in the courtyard, guys, that we saw earlier. 
So we have that now. We're going to have to go and store some stuff and then come back here to collect all the wares. Like, there's some magnum ammo there, which we'll want. There was some uh, acid rounds as well, which we'll want. So we'll have to come back to this area. Ah, okay. So this has brought us out here. So this is actually quite close. This is actually quite close to a save point. So I think what I'll do is go and um, store some of our stuff. Then we'll go back to that upstairs area, guys, and we'll, like, collect up anything else that we've missed. Okay, so this door over here should be unlockable now. There we go. There's so many doors that are locked with this key, it's crazy. Like, we're just opening up, like, so many new areas in this mansion. Wait, what's that sound? That's kind of creepy. So we've got an eagle that moves around the room with us. I don't like the, s the sounds it keeps making. Will you take the grenade shells? Okay, yep. Yeah. So what are we meant to be doing? Let's turn off the light. Ah, look. The eye in that deer, in the head of that deer, is flashing when the eagle's eye looks at it. And likewise, that one flashes when the eagle looks at it. There's something over here as well. That's just a dagger, I think. Will you take the dagger? Yes. There's a note. And there's something I can push there. Mail to the Chief of Security. Confidential. Okay, so this is July 22nd, 1998. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. 1. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. So obviously we're on like the stars team, that's like a special investigation unit, and we have been lured here so it's a trap from the start. 2. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimens as samples excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. 3. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Inc. Okay, so it's umbrella behind everything, as we said earlier in the video. And, you know, stars being here, it was all a trap. So I think what we have to maybe do, guys, is, with this puzzle, is push this over here. Let's have a look. A glowing yellow jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes, it's attached to something and refuses to budge. So I think we can only take that out when the eagle's not looking at it. So I think maybe we push this over here. Right, let's run quickly over to the other side now. And grab it. Yes, we got it. Okay, so that's the trick there. You have to be like super fast and then you can get the gemstone out before the eagle turns back. What about this one? Can we take this one? Would you like to take the jewel out? You got the red gemstone, nice. So we've got two gemstones. I think these need to be put into the tiger statue. So we're going to go back to the tiger statue on the lower floor and see if we can place these gemstones in the eye socket. Oh my god, what was that? Frickin' Hunter, okay. Uh, I'm going to shoot it with a shotgun. Taking no chances. Oh my god, okay. That was very close. Is he dead? No, he's not. Or maybe he is. I think he is dead. I took some damage there, man. I got really badly hurt. Oh, there's another! Okay, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running, we're running. We're gonna go and heal. We're gonna go and heal. This is not good. I literally had no healing items then, and if he had hit me again, he would have taken my head off. So we're gonna go and heal, guys. Right, we're healed. Okay, we're gonna go back out, kill that other hunter, 
And then <laughs> we'll do the gemstone thingy. The gemstone thingy jiggy. Where is that hunter? Oh my god, he's there. Come on then. I can hear you. I can hear him grunting. Oh. What's he doing? Oh, he's there. What the heck? How is he behind me? What the frick? Yeah, that's it, Jill. Take him out. Is he dead? He's twitching. Stay down, man. That was horrible, because I just heard him like walking about, and I assumed he was going to be this way. Somehow he got behind us. Let's reload. Oh, man, those hunters, I hate them. They're savage. Right. So we need to put the yellow gemstone in. And hopefully we get a nice reward for this. Here we go, we got a little disc. Will you take the MO disc? Yes. I don't know what the red gemstone does on that basis. I guess the red gemstone doesn't do anything. But either way, you know, um, we have now got a nice little uh, disc. I don't know what the other gemstone does. I'm just going to leave it. So let's head back up to the elevator area now. We've freed up some space and got some new items and see what that holds. Oh my god, okay. There we go. Boom. Screw you, fella. Get your hands off us. That's a crimson head, guys. Those crimson heads. I called them red zombies in a previous episode. I kind of forgot what they were called in a moment because I got so scared. They're actually called crimson heads, and they're like super fast zombies that will run at you. They've got claws. They can do massive damage. So, yeah. Don't want those guys getting their hands on us. But over here, there should actually be a um, door that we can open up. There we go. Don't know what's behind it, but I'm sure we'll find out very soon. Whether we want to or not. I don't like the sound of that. Screw it, I'm going for it. Oh! What is that? Oh, it's a snake again, guys! It's a snake from earlier. Alright, let's... I think we're gonna have to kill it. Guys, I think we're gonna actually have to fight this thing now. I wish I brought my grenade launcher. I'm just going to shoot it as many times as I can with a shotgun. Where is it? Come on, snake. Boom. Now run. Ah, run. Run, Jill, run. That is horrible. That is actually legit creepy. That is legit creepy, but I'm just going to keep running. Running around. Maybe we can catch up to it actually and shoot it like shoot it in the back. Look how slime it is as well. It's like leaving a trail of like slime behind it. And come on, snake. Oh, he's coming that way. Okay. You tricked us. You tricked me at least. Ah, uh, quick. Come on. Come on, Jill. Faster, 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 faster. Where's this snake? Show yourself. Should I start like using some of my pistol ammo maybe? I don't know if I want to burn through my shotgun ammo. Yeah, that's not good. Hey, we got it. I was going to say that I thought I was about to die then. We actually killed him. Executed with a pistol. And then we've got a book. We did all that for a book. Nice. Press F in the chat or in the comments section for the death of a giant snake. Look at how scorched his body was as well. Like, he took some serious damage. He's got, like, scales missing all over. That's got to be the biggest snake to ever live. We've killed a shark and a snake in this episode, guys, and met giant spiders. That's pretty mad.
Will you take the last book, volume two? Well, yes, I will. Let's examine it. There's got to be something hidden inside. A medal was hidden inside the book. The medal of the wolf. Nice. Okay, so we've got two medals now. For whatever reason. I think we do need to put those medals into something, but I just don't remember what. Look at this huge snake though, that's mad. At least the snake won't be able to get us anymore. That's, I mean, I didn't really want to have to fight it to begin with, but at least it can't actually hunt us down and attack us anymore. Right guys, I'll cut to where I actually make some progress, because we're going to have to unlock some more doors in this mansion. So let's head on and find the next area we need to unlock. Okay, we're back in the main hall. Now I think, I'm pretty sure, that we can actually go down here and through this door here now. I think this might be the last door. Yeah, look, there's no further use for this key. Discard, yep. And through the door we go. Okay, so we've unlocked every door we can unlock in this mansion now, apart from the Spencer door, which was obviously one we got stuck on earlier. Uh, this looks like a lab. Look at that thing in the tube. There's something handwritten, it's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting, not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Hmm. Okay. Got like a globe in the middle. An elaborately fashioned globe. What about down here? Got a door. Oh, we got a zombie. Man, okay, it's not a lot of space to like move in here. Right, he's falling down. He's dead. Good. Okay. Take the dagger, yes. There's a little box over here as well. Will you take the jewelry box? I guess so. Right, so what is the jewelry box all about? Examine. There's nothing unusual. There's a round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. Huh. I wonder if that's for the jewel we got earlier, like the red jewel. Guys, we might need to actually go back and get the red jewel to put in this box, I think, to crack the puzzle. Oh my god. I just checked, guys, I just checked this door out and there's like this horrible sound down there. It sounds like Lisa Trevor again. I wonder what's on the other side of the door. I don't think we want to figure that out, right? There are octagonal indentations to the right and left of the door. Okay, so this is somewhere we've got to come back later, I think. Like this door we need to come back later. So let's just keep going. Okay, so. Let's see if we can combine this with the jewelry box. We can! So that's what the red gem was for, nice. Now we've just got to work out, I guess, where all these pieces go. Okay, so does this go at the top? Is this meant to go at the top like this? Right, where does this piece go next then? Does that piece go like that? Yep. Okay. Next we take this piece. This piece must go in like here, like this. I think we've almost done it guys. And then the final piece will go in like this. Hey, it worked! Okay. It didn't look right to me, but it worked. There was a brooch inside. Take the brooch. So this, I think, is the key we need for that special door, the Spencer door. It changed into a key. Nice. Sweet. So we've got the emblem key. Okay, guys, I think we can crack this now. I think what we can do is go back to the Spencer door at the beginning of the mansion area, and basically we can get into that room there. Right, we're back here at the Spencer door. We can hopefully unlock this. Yep, and we can discard the key. Nice. So guys, what I've done is actually brought our battery pack and some of those medals we unlocked here as well, because I think for the next section we're going to need them. It's too dark to see anything. Can we turn this light on? There's a switch here. Press it. Yep. There we go. Nice. We've got lights, guys. We've got lights. 
What do you take the metal object? Ah, maybe this is one of the um, two objects that we need to use on the main gate. If you remember, guys, there's that gate in the main hall we saw earlier in the episode with a weird sort of sound behind it, a creepy sound. I think this maybe goes into that door, so we'll take that. We still need another one, of course, before we can access it. Don't know if there's anything else in this room that we need. There's a little taser thing here, so we'll take that. So obviously this is a room we needed to access, but we don't need to access it right now because we can't actually use that emblem yet. Okay guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to cross over the pond once again, and we're going to go back to that elevator that we were at earlier. Because if you remember, we actually needed to put in a fresh battery unit to power that elevator. And I'm going to get bitten by loads of snakes on my way back by the look of it. That's just how the game wants things to be this time. Right, so, I think there's a dog down here. I might actually get rid of this dog, because it's annoying. Come on, dog. Get out. Oh, man, there's two of them. Okay, you know what? Sometimes a shotgun comes in useful. Boom. That one's still alive. Okay. Not anymore, though. kind of feel bad, because I like dogs, but not these kind of dogs. So here you go, guys. You can see we need to put the battery pack into here. There we go. And we've repaired the elevator now. Now, the reason we're actually going to be doing this is because there's actually a waterfall here. We need to get behind this waterfall. Jill says a raging waterfall. It looks like there's something beyond it. We actually need to get past this to get to the next area of the game. But now we've replaced the elevator power supply. We can go up this elevator and we're actually able to fill the pond back up, which stops the waterfall from flowing because the sluice gate will be closed again. And once we've done that, we'll then be able to actually get around that waterfall. First, we need to get around these dogs, though. Ah, quick. Come on. That's close. Some good dog dodge in there. Not a sentence I thought I'd be saying in this video, but there we go. Right, so we're going to fill the pond back up. Previously, of course, we needed this pond not to be filled because we needed to run across it to get to the residence. But now we've repaired the elevator, we no longer need to go across the pond directly. We can just use the elevator that's been repaired. And this will cut the waterfall. The sound of a waterfall seems to have stopped. There we go. So, let's go all the way through here and back down to the waterfall. Ooh, dogs. No! Stupid dog. Get off me. Bad dog. Down, boy. Jill is wounded. Ah! Man, they just took a piece out of us. That was very close, man. I thought that dog was going to have our head off then. Do we have any herbs down here at least? Yeah, there's a herb. I'll take that. Will you take the green herb? Yes. Hopefully we're not too badly injured. Man, we're still on a caution even after that herb. But look, here we go, guys. The waterfall has now stopped. We're able to go beyond it. And there's a staircase leading down, or a ladder leading down, I should say. I'm actually going to be saving this game in a minute, guys. We're going to do this area in the next video. In fact, we're going to complete the game in the next video. We're now, as you can see, underground. So let's have a little look down here. Here we go, we've got an item box, we've got a typewriter, we've got a save spot as well. Perfect timing. So this is where we're going to leave it for now. So in the next episode, guys, we're going to do this underground area and whatever lies beyond it. We're going to finish up the entire game. So it will be probably a slightly longer episode than this one. But I think it can be done in three parts and it would be nice to do this game in three parts for you. So tune in next time for the grand finale of Resident Evil. And then after that, I'll start work on my Monsters Explained and Story Explained video for this game, uh, which hopefully you'll enjoy as well. For now guys, all I can say is thanks for watching today, if you did enjoy the video remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you on the next one.